Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for February 6th of 2023. Well, it is titled in the heart of the Rosette Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is known as the Rosette Nebula. And we look at the detail, a larger view of this, it sometimes has the image of a rose that would be present there. Now, this is also a star cluster, and that is the star cluster which energizes the nebula. The star cluster is known by the catalog designation of NGC 2244. And these are stars that formed only a few million years ago. So it's a relatively young grouping of stars. And it's still being added to in many ways as we see stars formation that still can be going on here. Now when we look at this image, it might look a little different in colors than some of the other ones we've looked at. And that's because this is not a uh, true color image, but is actually color coded by looking at three very specific colors. Then that is looking at sulfur in the red, hydrogen in green, and oxygen in blue, and then putting those together. Now that allows us to follow more detail within the gas gases that are being emitted because we're looking specifically at the light that is being emitted by those gases. And those are three of the very common and prominent ones that are often done this way, but really gives us far more detail in the gas that we're looking at here within this nebula. Now when this nebula forms the stars cluster forms here at the center and the energy from those stars is clearing out the interior area and you can see this process has already started the interior region is being cleared out and material will be pushed away from this and you can see that we've already got a bubble cleared out here and that process will continue. So as new stars form in some of the dark dense knots around the edges here, uh, there still could be some more stars forming. But for the most part, they're just starting to clear out and clear out this material. So that if we could come back in a few hundred thousand more years, all we would see is the cluster of stars with just a few wispy filaments remaining and most of the gas and dust be having been expelled out and the new star cluster would have formed and this is the process of star formation that occurs within a spiral galaxy like our own a galaxy with a lot of cool uh, gas and dust that begins to form lots of stars and we have many star forming regions that we can see within our galaxy all at various stages. Some are just dark, dark molecular clouds where star formation is just beginning. And others are much older star clusters where star formation finished long ago. And studying all of those actually helps us to be able to study the process of star formation. Since it is such a long process for a star to form and go through its life that we can never look at even the most short lived stars in uh, even multiple human lifetimes. We would need hundreds of thousands to millions of years to be able to watch them. So by looking at them at all different stages, we're able to piece together the puzzle of stellar evolution. So that was our picture of the day for February 6th of 2023. It was titled In the Heart of the Rosette Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be double dipper comet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.